Glenn Morris, thanks for joining us. Uh, Yeovil Neil, Crawley Town 1. How fantastic does that sound? Oh, it's brilliant. It's just um, it's a massive relief, you know, obviously. And, you know, it's been a, it's been a hard few weeks at the club. And it's just, you know, to, to see the gap that we've got now, it just it's obviously, a, you know, just, it sort of takes the weight off, off the next few games. And obviously, you've still got a job to do, but, you know, it's a, it's a big win. You could sense the anxiety really up in the press box coming from the pitch. Both sides knew the importance of it and both sides knew how important the first goal could be if, if one was going to come. And when it came along, it went Crawley's way and it's a, a great finish by Phil. Yeah, I, I think we knew it was going to be a nervy game and it was going to be 1-0 one or, one or either way or a mistake or something that was going to, you know, it was going to be the, the, the deciding factor. But obviously, you know, it went our way um, and I think we probably deserved it really. Obviously, we had a few chances right at the end and we did well to put everything on the line to stop it. I was just going to say, talk us through those chances because they threw the proverbial kitchen sink, then they had it at the end, as you would expect, trying to yeah. get something from the game and a combination of, of great saves by you and some last ditch defending kept the clean sheet. Yeah, and I think it's been, you know, last few weeks it probably would have gone in in, in other games, and, and but today I think everyone just, you know, did their job and just knew that we had to get three points with no matter what, and I think it showed true, and you know, it's just it's brilliant, and I'm just so happy for everyone involved and a great away following today and it's been a tough season for fans hasn't it especially away from home this season so a little bit of reward there for the effort they've put in to get here today yeah you know you can't thank them enough you know there's a lot of them have come a long way and like you said we haven't had the best results away from home but like near the end of the game I think that's a little lift at what we need and they kept us going and, and it was so, you know it's good to go over at the end and see them all and, and um, you know like you said they haven't had a, a lot to shout about last you know few weeks or even the whole season really away from home so it was, yeah, it was good and looking ahead then, Glenn, there's still four big games to go and still 12 points to play for, so not mathematically safe at the moment, but that's a great buffer you've got now. But you'll go to Exeter on Good Friday in good spirits after, after an away win. It's another tough away game, though. Another tough one, um, but you know, hopefully we can go there and now play a bit more freely. Um, but like you said, we're not mathematically safe, so we've got to go there and do a job. And um, I'm more than confident that we will after, after the back of the, even the last few performances, the ones we've lost, we've played well, so hopefully we can build on it. And Luke Gambin and, and Matty Willock involved again today, so now the boss has got a, a few selection headaches in terms of the squad and the side that he picks for Friday. Yeah, and I thought all the subs that come on, you know, were, were brilliant. You know, you know, Ash come on, he done he done a really good job, and yeah, like you said, he's got a few selection headaches, which is good, and that's what we want going into the, the business end. Thanks, Glenn. Safe journey home. Thank you for your time. No worries.